It's all right. Look. No marks on my face. Look at my left side. Okay. Left side's better. Just stand like this, yeah. It's um. natural. <laughs> 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 Go on, go on, sorry, I'm always trying to cross, you know, took five down, Stephen Elite. Yeah. Both yeah. you guys, you know, very talented, but you know, you used your outside reach, you kept him at bay, and you landed the shots he landed him with. You know, was that a game? Well, I knew he was he's one tough MRF, -er, just in case you're not allowed to see on international television. Uh, yeah, I stuck to my game plan, uh, trying to outsmart him. We knew that he's going to walk forward a lot. He's tough, he's been winning with some massive names so I'm not surprised they'd knock him out in the fourth he's just he is tough I can't believe it you know I, I hit him with my hardest shots there and I thought he was gonna go but I tell you what he's I knew he was hurt but he's hanging me on telling me to come on and you know fair play to him he is an amazing opponent you know he's had a uh, wealth of experience fighting big ties and that I expect him to clinch a lot more but uh, you know which is which is uh, you know what, what I, th I thought he, his, his game would be uh, better you know against me but um I yeah, suppose he knows I can clinch. I suppose he also knows I was good on the outside. So they were just trying to, trying to figure me out, get angles on me. You know, he hurt my leg. You know, and, he, and they tried to utilise on that. You know, try to take advantage. But I changed stance, and uh, you know, I tried to be smart all the whole way around. Whole fight. You were very calm and collected throughout the whole fight. Was it just kind of you know keep cool? You know, you know the things will come that you need to you know display, and you know it was just don't get drawn too much into what he wants to do and bring you close by. Oh, that's just in my nature, mate. So by so by, you know, <laughs> calm, take it easy, man. There's no no need to panic, you know. Uh, no, um, I had a really good camp, you know, since my my uh, my. Uh, um, Last uh, coach passed away. You know, it was quite emotional getting in the ring. You know, <laughs> I wanted to wanted to break down in tears as I was coming towards the ring. You know, because that's who I was thinking of. You know, but uh, I'm training with Tony Myers now, who, who trained Liam Robinson, who was my coach, uh, and he had a really good game plan. He polished some techniques up. He brought my power up as well, and uh, yeah, just just yeah, you know, I couldn't ask for more. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, I've got the experience anyway, but. Just a little, little, little minute changes makes a massive difference when you're at this level. You know? yeah, just touching on that, Liam. Obviously, he was such a huge part of yeah. the Muay Thai community, yeah. and yeah. you know, sadly missed. But yeah. for you going in there, was it kind of the, that, the, that the, angel on your shoulders? The, this was for him, you know, and this was for him, and, and I, I promised that this would be the best performance yet. And if I could perform like that against a, a massive opponent like like uh, Stephen Malidi, you know, he's been in with Sam Ace, you know, Sancha. <laughs> You know, uh, Rung Ravi, you know, and he's, he's, he's gone the distance with some of them. You know, if I can outclass somebody like that, then, you know, what can I say, you know, but this was for Liam, you know, that's all I was thinking of, you know, the whole time. So, yeah, it was a bit of an emotional fight, you know, the first one out the way and uh, see what's in store for the, for the future. <clears throat> you said that your opponent was strong on coming forward, heavy hands. How do you prepare mm. for something like that in your training camp? You know, just it's a natural thing, mate, you know, just tough. Uh, no, uh, again, like I say, you know, it comes with experience as well, you know, it's not the first time I've been punched like that. Uh, yeah, he is strong. I've been hit harder, you know what I mean? Uh, I got a little bit... At times I wasn't as as prepared, if, if you like, you know, I, when I was finishing off with my technique, I was trying to stay, stat you know, um, active, if you like, you know, and ready and re responsive to, every, the, to the attacks, but uh, a couple of times he, I wasn't ready and he caught me out with the shots. Uh, but like I say, it's nothing uh, I haven't taken before. And, and again, it's with anything, it's just experience, you know. If you get punched like that for the first time in the ring, you're going to want to hit the deck whether you're hurt or not. You know? <laughs> but uh, when you've had it numerous times, you know, you know it's not a big deal. You know? Part of the uh, profession. Uh, in the final round, you seem to slide down a bit, trying to crack away from the end, sort of thing. Uh, was that the plan going into it? Do you think it would have been? I was just doing a Mayweather, mate. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, well, the thing is, I won second, I won third, I won fourth. Big. Why, why, why waste my time going in and getting myself tired? You know, I don't like getting tired. You know, I, I like having easy fights. Uh, I knew that the only way he was going to win is to knock me out. There's no way that he was going to. Uh, build up on points in the fifth round and win the fight. So the only way he'd beat me is by knocking me out. Okay, but it's not them that's in the ring, it's me. You know, I'm the one who's in there, I'm the one who's getting hurt. If I want to get stuck in and get my head boxed, then I get my head boxed. But that's why I keep this beautiful uh, <laughs> face by not getting hit. <coughs> you know, 
you're an established name already. Yeah. You know, what's next for you? What's next? You know, you already got championship belts. You know, is there anything out there that you think you know? I need to do that to prove that I'm one of the best around. Uh, like, like, like I say, you know, uh, after this, after Steam Elite, I don't see anyone in this country uh, fighting anyone in this country apart from like the bigger names. But you know, like. I mean, I'd, I don't even want to mention the names, but you know, because it's like, uh, you know, they, they, they're above me, you know, but they, they're a much heavier weight as well. I mean, I would, if, if I had the opportunity say, to fight Greg Wooten again or Liam Hudson, amazing, you know, I'm not saying I'm going to get in there either, but just to be in the ring with, with them, you know, is, is amazing, you know, because of who they beat, who they've been in the ring with, you know, it's, it's you know, it's, a, it's you know, what we, what we train for, you know, to fight the best, you know, I don't like, I don't dodge any fights, you know, I fight people who are up and coming, I have nothing to lose, I don't care, I don't care if I lose, it's, it's part of the game, but apart from these guys, I don't see anyone else in the country, I don't even care about the ranks, the ranks anymore, you know. Uh, so I don't think anybody can fight me. I'm not being big headed or anything, but if I'm going to take eight weeks of my time to train and fight, it's got to be someone who's worth it. And I don't know at the moment. I've got to sit down and think about what I, you know, what I want to do. You know, I've got two gyms now. I'm running and I'm really busy. I've got many fighters, but I don't know. It just depends on on the fights and the money.